Hey guys, what's going on? Josh from All Points Fly Shop. I want to take a second to talk a little bit about UV resins. We get a lot of questions about what the heck is the difference between the thick and the thin and the flex and the bone dry and uh, first of all, what the heck is UV resin? How is it different than the other head cements that we used to use? Uh, so I'm gonna go over um, a little bit of what the heck these things are, how to use them, uh, how to apply them, and the best usages for them, including maybe even a way to repair. So we're gonna start sort of on the left and work our way to the right. Uh, and really, they're labeled uh, as thin, thick, and everything else like that, which is basically a reflection of their viscosity. So, uh, the first one that most people tend to get in first are these two, which are the thin and the bone dry. Uh, the purpose and usages for these is mainly for finishing flies. So, and the classic example is if you're you've done doing your whip finish, you just want to put a really nice, hard, clear coat glazing over the wraps to make sure everything holds nice and tight. Uh, these are the two guys that you're going to use the most. This, however, in contrast to the bone dry, which is super, super thin. I want to see if I can actually get that to drip. It is water, water thin. So this stuff will not only apply a very, very, very thin coat, even thinner than the thin. Are you confused yet? Maybe. Uh, but it also soaks into the material as well. So when you are whip finishing and you're putting this on, the bone dry will seep and absorb into the thread. So then when you hit it with a UV light, like one of these guys, I know my hand's in the way, like one of those guys at the bottom, it'll create a much better um, hold and will be way more durable uh, to fish with than your traditional sort of head cement that would just kind of cover the top. So again, the bone dry here, which is this uh, Solaris stuff looks like this. I did a really bad job of uh, undoing the, the wrapping there, are very, very thin. As you work your way up to the thick, the usage for this is not necessarily to coat and to finish a fly. It's usually more for your building something. So for example, if you've seen the surf candies that we tie here, that has a lot of UV resin. That's basically the entire half, if not two thirds of the body of the fly is just straight resin. I am and we are using this hard stuff to coat and create that body because it's very thick, very viscous, and doesn't take nearly as much time uh, to create that body than it would be if you're trying to use something like this. The other one that's a very unique version of all this is the Flex. So it probably has the same viscosity somewhere in between probably the, th uh, the thick and the thin, but the big difference is, hence the name, it doesn't crack or break and it actually has some flexibility to it for movement purposes. So if you're tying crab patterns that have flexible legs, that have a lot of movement, and you want to put UV resin over those legs to make sure that they're not going to go anywhere, the flex helps them continue to do what they need to do, but will hold them in place as well and not crack or break. Uh, so think of crab flies, think of shrimp imitations. Uh, there are minnows that you can tie, uh, you know, bait fish patterns that you want to have some flexibility to it with the, the, uh, the materials kind of tapered over and you're creating a coat over the top. A lot of people use the flex to make sure that it still has that movement, but it's not going to break. And the other trick too that we have found that is a really, really good move with this stuff is if you've got a leaky waiter and you need to coat it with um, you know, that pinhole, you got to coat it with some UV resin or some sort of glue to keep that water from coming in and to stop leaking. This is the stuff to use because it will bend and again flex with whether the leak is in your knee, in your crotch, in your butt, wherever it might be, it's going to keep it from not cracking and breaking off and falling off the waiter. Um, so really good sort of tip of that stuff. I'm going to try to as best I can show you guys uh, the dripping of these and show you how thick these are to, so you get an example. Um, but that's basically the rundown of UV resins. If you are new to this and you've never ever uh, tried UV resins before uh, and you're looking to kind of step out of the, the basic head cement game, this is a really, really good product to start off with. It has three of the ones that we've talked about today. There's the thin, there's the flex, and there's the thick. And it comes with a flashlight a UV flashlight uh, that works really, really well too. Replaceable battery, uh, and this is darn affordable at basically $35. So if you're looking to get into it, you've got all the different ones that we've talked about, including the light, and you can start your tying in flex, hard, thin, whatever you want to do right off the bat.